Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today in this video I'm going to be continuing with the all-important book 7, follows on book 5 and is on the theory of number and as I've said before a quick recap we get number uh, from we get number and all its properties from book 5 which deals with the magnitudes and number is the measure of those magnitudes. So let's begin. Now in proposition one, what we find here is the basic division algorithm. Now when you see the word divided, by the way, it, it means the same thing as measured. In fact, all the four basic arithmetic operations are measures. Did, did you ever think about that? Yep, that's right, they're all measures. And when you're, <clears throat> when you're doing a division, you're measuring. It's like taking a little uh, uh, measuring tape with calibrated units and measuring another uh, length with it. Okay, so if, let's say, you're, you have a, a stick and you want to measure it in units of centimeters and you take your ruler and you mark off a centimeter, centimeter each time, deducting it from the, the length of the stick, and that way you know how many centimeters uh, fit into the stick that you're measuring, okay, or whatever the particular length is. So the proof by Euclid is ingenious and needs no improvement whatsoever, okay. Uh, the proposition is about the use of obelus division, which is what I've just, just explained to you, to demonstrate the prime number algorithm, okay. So... He says that if you take two unequal, not Heath, Euclid, I'm sorry, two unequal numbers, uh, the lesser being continually subtracted from the greater until uh, there is a remainder or there is no remainder. If there is a remainder, uh, it will be one. And if there's no remainder, it means the two numbers are not prime. Okay, so that's, I'll, I'll get back to that in a moment. So a quick example, are 8 and 19 prime to each other? So this is how we do it. We look at the dividend. So I'm going to just pull this up here for a second. This is the basic algorithm here. Uh, what we're doing is we're measuring the dividend with the divisor and some multiple, which is always a multiple of the unit. Okay. So we're measuring it. So we're dedu deducting this divisor from the dividend multiple times. And in each step, in each step, what we do is we say, very well, the remainder becomes a new dividend. Uh, the multiple becomes the new divisor because the previous divisor was 8. And then we repeat the process until, as you see, we have 1 or 0 remainder. In this case, the remainder is 1, meaning that 19 and 8 are prime to each other. Okay? So the first step is to subtract the greatest multiple, which is 2, of the smaller number 8 from the larger number 19, then repeat the process with the multiple 2 until a unit remains or no unit remains. And so notice that in spite of dealing with numbers, in spite of dealing with numbers, the basic operations of arithmetic are demonstrated on the measure of line segments. Euclid uses line segments still because that's what he used in book 5. But it doesn't matter because now we're not dealing with the magnitudes of those line segments, but with their measures. Okay, because a number, once again, is a name given to a measure that describes a magnitude or size. Okay, and of course, to summarize, the divisor measures the dividend, and if there is a remainder, the remainder becomes a new dividend, and the previous multiple becomes a divisor with the process repeating until there is no remainder or unit remainder in which case the numbers are prime to each other. And that, my friends, is the famous Proposition 1 of Book 7. Uh, very important in mathematics, very important in finding uh, greatest common divisor. That, in fact, turns up in Proposition 2, which I'll cover next. Not in this video, but in a future one. And so if you have any questions, write only one question in the detail section because my eyes are not very good and I don't have a lot of time. Uh, and I will uh, answer your question. Then if you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber. 
and click like because I have many enemies. This morning I woke up and there were almost uh, 50 acolytes of that crank Ted Courant uh, who, got, who got me to be banned from LinkedIn, by the way. Um, so Ted Courant's uh, little minions were all over my channel this morning or whenever. And I've had to block every single one of them. It took me about 20 minutes, but it was worth doing because now they can't comment ever again. So uh, also there is a new channel. There's a new math channel I'd like to recommend. It's called uh, Mackie Fry Guinness. And I'll put a link to it again, once again, in the detail section so that you can visit that channel. Uh, it's a fine math channel. So... I'm going to leave it at that and I'll continue in the future also to do more critiques on other videos out there because mainstream academics are worse than the inquisitors of the Spanish Inquisition. And these things need to be pointed out and as long as I have breath in me and I'm able, I'll do it. I'm John Gabriel, this is New Calculus Channel, till next time, goodbye.